This show is sponsored by BetterHelp Online Therapy. Without a healthy mind, being happy is hard. Visit BetterHelp.com slash peer and see if online therapy is for you. Wow, and welcome back to another episode of the Peer to Peer. Isn't that so satisfying? The Peer to Peer Podcast. No, I'm your host, Agent Zero. We're joined with my co-host. Yo, what up, podcast people? Listen, one and only legend on winning, a.k.a. Lo. Man, we got a producer in the back. Bing bong, you see this cap. Fuck. Run it back. Don't no, it nigga. Okay. No, no. Do it, please. All right. Go and we Go got a producer low. in the back. Bing bong, when you see this cap, you know I'm in her back. Yes, Sersky. Hell yeah. Who are you role playing? Cleveland Ave. Cap, this cap in the back, Ron? No. Will, will you see this? Cap, I'm in her cap. back. Back. In a round. You work on that, though, What's John. Cap in back. Do not run. Depending on how you say it, it could sound yeah. like a rhyme, though. Well, you see this cap. I'm in her back. The way you just said it right there was definitely not rhyme. You didn't hear it? <laughs> I heard it. I heard it. It's actually very good. I'm open. Close them. Listen. Bing bong. When you see this cap. Yeah, I still open. Close them. Close them, low. I'm close not closing them. my just eyes. Close. Close your eyes. Just close them. Close your eyes. They're closed. They're closed? Yep. Oh, they're just looking dead at me. Okay, just close. Low, close your eyes. Close your eyes. Just close them for this experience. There we go. Mm, all right, we're already done. Bing joking. bong, will you see this hat? What? <laughs> Whoa, this got worse. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, it's not cat. Yeah, you're it's right, hat. you're right. When you close, when I close my eyes, it really comes through. When you you're see right. this hat, I'm in her back. Okay. That's well, better. that's a great That's intro, actually John. worse. No, no okay. I said it's a better intro. No, I said, no, he said, I changed cap to hat. Bing of bong, when you see this hat, I'm in her back. Yeah. Like You're that. in a bat. Yeah, she got a baseball bat. All right, cool. Yo, uh, <laughs> shout out to all the audio listeners out there on Google Play, Stitcher, Spotify, Apple Podcasts. Continue to raise the five star and continue to send us all those Spotify wrap ups, man, on Twitter, man. We love to see y'all showing love all year long on Spotify. Also, all that you point to me. Also on YouTube, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the notification bell. Make, oh, I'm sorry. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you leave a comment. Make sure you hit the notification bell to join. Know the gang, 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 gang. Gang! And finally, shout out my word of my people out there on all other platforms. More importantly, TikTok numbers still going dumb. More importantly, it's crazy. crazy. Why is TikTok more important? Yeah. You know, we don't got it. We have a, um, almost like a burner Twitter account. Yeah, and y'all be replying to it so people think it's us. Yeah, I did. I'd be like, oh, you're right. You're right. Peer to peer. You're right. You're right. And I'd just be liking it and retweeting it. Shout, hey. out to the, shout out to that dude who runs that account because we don't, we did not appoint you to do that. <laughs> he just appointed himself. Yeah, we also have a clip channel, by the way. I'm going to leave the link at the top of the description. Click on the clip channel if you guys don't watch two hour podcasts all the time because it has, or even if you haven't watched all the podcasts, uh, we have a lot of like the funny stories and simp moments that we talk about here on Peer to Peer. First of all, Lo, you missing your mouth. I'm not going to just That's pass crazy. over the fact that you missed your whole mouth. It's crazy. That, it? The bottle goes... In my mouth? Yeah. Pause. No, it just does. Wait, so you, I don't do that. He I squirted just, it? Oh, so you like, you like the shit to shoot back, like, <laughs> all the way back in your throat. Isn't that what it's for? It's, hey, it's, no. for, it's for you to squeeze and just shoot in the back in your throat. No, you just suck on it like a nipple. No, is that's what it's for? Yeah. I mean, All this time I've been squirting it like a Gatorade ad. No, that's yeah, how you athletes your mouth, do it because they spit it. Yeah, you did miss your mouth, actually. You miss your mouth. I know, so but, I'm saying, but why, why do athletes do it? Athletes, you, sometimes it's in hockey and football, they just spit out the water. But they do that. No, but why do they squirt it in their mouth? Because they don't want to put their mouth on it. Well, sometimes like they have a helmet on, right? So, so it, it is 90 niggas on a football team. They all put their mouth on the bottle? Anyway. Okay, that makes more sense. Yeah. That makes more sense. The helmet would make more sense, by the way. <laughs> no, I've I've seen basketball players. I've seen yeah. most people do it. Okay, all right. Anyway, I've seen you don't have baseball players. You don't have like but, a but you got no team. It's just you. Yeah, you don't you have no one that's gonna clean up. Crazy. Your, yeah, missing your mouth, and there's no cleanup crew. crew you like crazy. the feel of it hitting your mouth and dripping down your your chin and shit. I just thought that's what we were supposed to do with these. John, chill out, bro. Back to this clip channel talk. <laughs> There, we have a whole bunch of stories and things of that nature on the Clip channel, so just go ahead and click it. You might see some stories you haven't heard because you missed the podcast, and we got it conveniently for y'all there, man. Um, all right. This is the start <laughs> we're having on this podcast. <laughs> hey, just put that water bottle down, dog. You're right. I'll put it down. Hey, uh, I noticed something about... Stop doing that because niggas going to hear that, and it's fucking up the audio experience. No cap. <laughs> I couldn't even watch you try to utter some dumb shit like that. 
<laughs> yeah, you know what I realized about myself? I'm too competitive. So I went to, um, I flew to Buffalo. First of all, they tried telling me that a trip to Toronto from Atlanta, two hour flight is a band. And I need to and I need to fly my camera person out too. So that's another band. I'm not paying two bands to go to Canada. Who was that? It was Delta. I mean, he was wallet. It was just my camera person. Oh, I was about we'll to at least stay here. But anyway, so anyway, I fly to Buffalo instead because it's two hundred a ticket. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to save me some money. Plus, on the drive up from Buffalo to Toronto, I'll stop at Niagara and my university or whatever because it's been a while since I got a chance to do that. So I. I oh, so did you? You stop? Nah. <laughs> You always gotta ask this nigga, did he actually do it? <laughs> nigga just love to talk. You just let it hear yourself talk. So I got I got in this Kia Forte, right? Oh man. So so it was they said it's an economy car. Now keep in mind, all the cars I have here is a horrible gas mileage, right? So this mm. is my first time I have an opportunity in a very long time to just be great for the environment. And I drove all the way up to Toronto and it said 26 miles per gallon, which is better than my usual eight I get in my vehicles. So I was happy about it. Now, you know, in these vehicles, they make gas mileage a game, though. Like you can see your gas mileage deteriorating every time you press down on the gas. Every time you accelerate, you can see it going out the window and it gives you the average score. So in my head, I'm trying to think, well, let me get this average up. So anyway, on my drive back, I'm driving now from Toronto to Buffalo because I'm about to fly from Buffalo to just, Atlanta. But that's why it's not a game. That just no, no, no. It was a game, dog. When I tell Just you, you make it a game. I was on the highway for two and a half hours. I mean, when we, I, on the back roads, I was blowing stop signs and just rolling past red lights because by any means necessary, I was going to get this miles per gallon up. I can't be more proud to let you guys know on this podcast that I got 40 miles per gallon. I spent $10 of gas to go from Toronto. Two hour trip down, two and a half hour trip down to Buffalo. Ten dollars. I'm that competitive. Uh, and that's when I realized that like my cars need more customization. Because if I had that screen on my gauge cluster in any of my vehicles, I'd lose my fucking sanity. Because I can't I can't live it down knowing that I could do better for the environment. They make it into like this game. Also, you're eating chocolate right now that you said was gonna make you throw up. So don't leave chocolate in a box that no one's all right, bro. You know what chocolate attracts? Goddamn. The chocolate Willy monster? Huh? Fuck. Yeah. This shit is little disgusting. chocolate monsters. What if they were like little chocolate monsters? Did this shit is really say, disgusting. This is disgusting? Why'd you take like three extra bites? I thought we were going to change it to that people. Stop. Don't fake throw up. Now that he said that, don't fake throw up. No, no, no. Like a pizza we got. You got stuck? Yeah. In your mouth? In my back of my throat. Got it out though. Yeah. Or gagged me out. All right, guys. <laughs> Why are we doing this today? You just explained it. You just gotta be more visual for the audio. Yeah. Use more adjectives. Mm. You're great with being descriptive though. Yeah. I mean, it was like dripping in the back of my throat and I had to gag it out. You had to dislocate it or dislodge. Yeah, dislodge is that yeah. piece of brown dislocated sweetness. John. For your throat. FYI, um, yeah, 40, 40 is actually really good. 40 is crazy. Yeah, 40 is really good. $10 for a two-hour trip? I dead. I was like, man, I had to become an Uber driver. Okay. Because at this point, like, I'm just going to have higher margins than all the other Uber drivers. Okay. Because I'm not spending gas the way I was spending yeah, gas. Yeah, 30, uh, 40 is great on a, on any, really, any car. Mm -hmm. You know what I learned? What'd you learn, man? Well, hey, yeah, why, why don't you just get, like, a regular car? They're boring. You just literally made a game out of a fucking two hour trip. Yeah, how I many miles? So tell you're you, telling me it's my boring. ankle was on sixty thousand, like barely pressing the gas. When I tell you, I was like, "Whoa!" I was so proud of myself, man. It was like a buzzer beater. Only in the last minute, it got up to forty. I was in the thirty nines for a lot of the trip, and I got all the way up to forty. My dick was rock hard. But anyway, I just don't care. I just don't put that screen. I, I'm too competitive for you to make this into a game for me. Like, I can't have that screen on none of my cars. I just changed the gauge cluster to show me literally anything else. Show me the turbo. Show me my RPM. Show me my gas. Well, tell me you do that on the Kia Forte as well. I, I couldn't figure out how. Uh -huh. I literally tried to stop it. But anyway, yeah, um, just want to let you all know I achieved that. And Caleb, I'll send you this. this I literally took a photo of $10 of gas okay, in Buffalo. Nasty. And I took a photo of my goddamn 40 miles per gallon average. And you know what else I took a photo of, Caleb? I'm also going to send you to put on the screen. 
there was a sign in Buffalo, and I haven't seen a sign like this in my life. You keep in mind, I'm at 5 a.m. and I'm driving down the Buffalo back roads. It's this beautiful scenic Niagara by Niagara Falls. It's this beautiful scenic road that's just straight water, man. It's, it looks so beautiful. And on the side was this big yellow sign that said blind child area. Huh? And I thought, I, I wasn't really sure what to think, but it sounded like they were trying to warn me there was a blind child that lived there. Yeah. I just didn't know they have blind signs for that. Child area. Yeah. So it's a like community of blind. If it's, if there's if there's a blind or deaf child that lives in the area, they'll because they, they put signs. Time. They put signs up there. But there's so many. I feel like they don't though, because it's my first time in my life seeing that sign, and there's no way I haven't driven past a community that has somebody who's visually or hearing impaired. I've seen that. No. I mean, I I, ne- well, unless I unless seen a, blind, a real blind person, you've never seen a real blind person in, in, in public. No. I don't think I see a real blind person. Have you, but just in general, have you ever seen? I mean, on TV. No, 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 no like in real life. I just said I haven't. I thought you may seem like you not you haven't bumped into one, whether you don't even like know anybody who knows someone. You've never. Yeah, I don't know anyone either. But I mean, I ask. Yeah, I'll call. But you've seen someone who's blind in real life, right? Not really. I might have, but what? I just didn't know if blind people a lot. Not a lot, but in your all in your entire life, you've never seen one. I've seen. I've seen a handful of blind. Miss me to remember <laughs> seeing one. No, no, no. I'm just. It's just. It's just that blows me away that you've never seen a blind person before. How far does it blow you? <laughs> well, you know, nigga. Um, I gotta get my TRX tuned. Okay. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta wash it. Do you think shit. even after it's tuned, you think it'll be you'll be able to um, beat me? Probably not. For real? No, it won't. Actually, I don't know. Why I said probably it won't. Mm. You don't have a regular test in its performance. You're right. Mm-hmm. Mm. You're absolutely right, dog. You're right. I got questions. There's, there's no car that's gonna beat that. That's not electric or a hypercar. Oh, I meant to say this: that the model, the Plaid uh, Model S, gets to zero to sixty in under two seconds. I know. That's crazy. Yeah, it's the fastest car in the world. That's crazy. That's crazy. Someone asked me this question: Would you rather? No, they didn't. No, they didn't. Huh? But go hang on. No, just, just ask don't. the question that you thought about. Yeah, just stop. Stop, no, no. stop putting other no. niggas under the bus. <laughs> stop. Because you're about no, to no, ask no. a crazy stop question. It, Lo. People ask me these questions no, they, they know I'm not afraid right, go ahead, to go, ask. Go, 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 go. All right, so would you rather have okay. full control? <laughs> no, yeah, would you rather have full control of your genitals? You can increase in size. You can get it hard on command, get it soft on command. You have full control. You can make it longer or shorter or control your body temperature. You can be co- like, when it's cold, what? you can make your body hotter. Like, you wouldn't have to wear like hoodies and stuff. You can control your body temperature. Like, what would you rather have? Full control of your this genitals. This is the dumbest. Nigga, I don't live <laughs> this is the in dumbest. outer space, dog. Uh, but sometimes it'd be convenient. You can wear what you want at any time. i do that anyway. I'm about to say what? Yeah. But you won't be uncomfortable. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be fucking spectacular if you could. I, I can be, it could be 100 degree. God damn. <laughs> you took air from me. <laughs> so let me get this straight, John. You're asking, you, you want men to take. Adjusting and changing their body temperature over potentially making their dick bigger. Is that what you're telling me right now? No, it's full and control. Wider. You can make it bigger or smaller. And why, why, but wait, why smaller? Can it curve? Why small? Uh, no, no, but he said smaller. Uh, why anything. Small? You could curve. What, what nigga? It could jump. Okay. It could, okay. It could increase in girth. <laughs> why smaller though? Why small? Why would anybody say, you because know what? You, ah, I'm knocking like three inches. No, okay, so. No, no, that makes perfect sense. Because you could have Some a girl that don't want all you of just it. Have you might have too much length to yeah. fully like, you know what I'm saying? So you had to, does that make sense, bro? Or you can increase while yes, you inside the thing. No, because so some, some positions. Increase, you, I understand, but you, you voluntarily say I'm removing three, four inches because now. Because sometimes you can't go all the way in exactly. certain positions. So you have to hold back. Yeah. So well, in that instance, just like drop. So just hold back. Why? When you could drop two inches. Yeah. What, what, a girl, what if a girl wants like nine or better? But if some girl can't take a nine or better, she wants a, a, yeah. a five to six. Nine or better is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> she, nine or better is crazy. She was like, uh, I want me a nine or better. Nine or better is well, crazy. I got that. And the girl's like, Ooh, no, I don't much. actually. Even if I can't t- um, turn my, my genitalia to nine or better, I'm not doing that, bro. Because why do you need a nine no, or but better? Like, go but why? But why do you need it? Though? Nine, nine can be useful in a, in a wild position. <laughs> no, but he making it seem like just in general nine or better. <laughs> like if we just do straight doggy style, it needs to be nine or better. Yeah, it depends. Some positions. 
Doesn't really. Oh, depend. you made it seem like it was just not a better. But um, position. anyway, yeah, that's that seems like a very useful. That's going crazy. soft and hard whenever you want. What? That's that's a that's, that's a what you took out of it on a snap, bro. On a snap, because usually you have to think to yourself like, wait, you gotta like, think about shit in between rounds. There's no in between rounds. You can just keep going. Wow. No Boom. pain, no, no gain, no weight. Oh, so there's no pain to this? Because after normal. a while, if you keep fucking, like, nah, you'll feel I mean, you won't feel as as comfortable as it once That's was. That's your power. What? You have a power. You have power. You fucked so much it felt uncomfortable. Even if you drag off enough, like I'm pretty sure it starts to feel uncomfortable. That won't be a problem for me, bro. I don't have that much time. But I, that's why that's why I be asking like when niggas cop was up, he was like, I used to jack off like so many times a day, and I was like, man, that that sounds uncomfortable. But the temperature so, thing is cool though. That's cool. Yeah, the temperature really stuff is pretty cool, but not really. I I already fight through like hot and cold weather pretty seamlessly. Like I dress like this everywhere I go, no matter what city. In freezing cold water. Not but worried. why though? Where where is that happening, John? Which ocean are you going to in Atlanta? Yeah, where? Where are you going? Where are you drumming? I go in to the desert. Ground? Okay, but you're not in the desert though, John. Kinda stop. But if I could, but you don't though. So what's stopping you right now from going to the desert? That you can't control your body temperature? Because <laughs> that's I'm what it sounds like, like you're saying right now. I can't. You ever want, like if I was climbing Mount Everest? Oh, you could never you have gotta a fever. wear all those clothes. You could never have a fever because you could just cool yourself never. down. Yep. I guess. You can never have cold sweats. Never. <clears throat> you just set your temperature before you go to bed. You, that means you, you don't need sheets. You, you never sweat? Never. When you hoop? You control your body temperature. That means your stamina is better. You're not getting tired. That's mm. not. I don't, I don't know if that's. Uh, you still gonna get tired. You see it? You still get tired. Okay. You're not sweating. So you can go. I can go hoop. You can just lounge can, in saunas. I can lower my, I can lower, I could, I could make my own sauna. I could sweat out my own codes. Yeah, you can. Yeah. If he was like an MMA fighter, he can weigh in at whatever weight he wants. I can sweat all my body water off, or I can conserve it. Yep. He could drain all you his body it? water in like I 10 can minutes. conserve all my body. You can, you can my, conserve it. I conserve it. Yeah. Conserving it is, yeah. Yeah, you know what? That could be like very useful in your day to day. Come in a dick. It's cool. <laughs> just say what you want to say, John. John. We'll just get to the point. Yo, John, this is. I'm just saying, what, what, what are y'all picking? You said huh? now that we broke you it said, down. I mean, the dick is cool. <laughs> what the fuck are you saying? <laughs> what are you, I'm picking the dick one, dog. You picking the dick? I'm not picking body time. No, I'm not picking body time. Um, what you think? Damn! Now that I listed off all those benefits, all the benefits. Make sure, make sure you tell the the person who asked this. Make sure they get the right answer from us. <laughs> right. They're probably watching. No, I'm just make sure they, they heard this part. <laughs> I don't know, actually. I'm split now. It, like, my, you think about the, the dick, it's cool, but it's only cool for sex. Like, what else would you use it for? But this, you could use all around. You're right, bro. I would go with the body. Now that you we've said all of this right here, John, I've changed my mind. I'm going with the body temperature. Okay. I'm going right. with the body temperature, too. My dick big enough. But what, if, but what if she asks nine or better, though? Huh? Yeah. Not, I'm sorry. You know what the shoot today? One of the ladies was like six and a half inches is boyfriend dick. So, like, that's her downgrade. Huh? What? One, one of the women. First of all, what type the, of shoot is this? <laughs> it was a crazy shoot. Oh, yeah, it was crazy. But she said six Your and brother? A half. Oh, man. You know, he was wow. <laughs> I, you would have thought he was still on lockdown. <laughs> he acted today. <laughs> Yo, that boy um, jumping out the gym. Yeah, no, he was. I ain't gonna hold you. Y'all, y'all, like, y'all six and a half is boyfriend dick. Which what does that mean? That means like that's less than what she wants. But for a boyfriend, like six and a half, she'll take she'll tolerate. Which means she regularly gets like eight. <clears throat> y'all realize that the version that y'all, which is crazy, right? Like if a nigga got a nine and he's pleasing her, just tell me up front. If you fucking with a nigga that has nine or better, that's <laughs> can you imagine that combo? That, all right, uh, John. <laughs> I fuck with you. No, I do, man. Like we have a great time when we're together, but I'm fucking with this other guy, and he has ten inches. So I won't even be mad at that. Like I, I appreciate your honesty. But then yeah, I, what, I, what, I understand because I, I can't though? even live huh? up to that. What's the point of that convo? To ne- let but me I mean, know that I'm not. We're not going to be talking to them no more. Oh, yeah. ten doesn't always be better. For cutting you off. Ten. If you if if only ten inches can sexually please you, hey, do yeah, because who's that I'm, deep? 
I mean, I mean, I, this whole this whole conversation is hypothetical. Ted so is crazy. Off the rip, nigga. Who's that dude? Ted is very, very crazy. Ted, not gonna run into you should a lot be hitting organs at ten. Like You're other, right. other I mean, bodily organs should be like being punctured, bro. I get that, but if that the whole, I'm just, the whole it's thing hypothetical that we're saying, if that's what it was, like, hey, all right, that's great, because I'm not going to even come close to that. So you can, you need to. I'd be pissed if someone had a conflict like that with me. For what? Why? Bro, why are you telling me because that? Because just stop talking to me. <laughs> You feeling me in as another guy with a bigger dick down the street? Just stop talking to no, me. No, no, no. If she just said he has a bigger dick, then I'll be upset because like it could be like an inch. And I'll be like, come on, we split in here. It's here. <laughs> <laughs> but if it's 10 inches, it's like, it's how you, y'all got, it. you got that. That's 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 a, hey, 10 inches, I'll never lose Why that Why would a shit. person that only can only satisfy by 10 inches be fucking with you anyway? How would they know until they, the first thing you have sex? Exactly. And she should pack it up right there. But then what if what if y'all smash like once or twice? You're like, man, your your average size is just isn't doing to me. I need about like twice the size. So <laughs> if she said that, I wouldn't even be out. Cause it's like if if you need if you need twice what I got, I I can't even come close. But if you talking about I need a six and a half, seven, like all right, come on, though, we splitting. I I can I can put a little more motion in the ocean to get that straight. So now I'd be pissed because now you just really kind of you just you know what I'm saying. But crazy. ten is too ten is too ten much is for me crazy. to even be upset about. Okay, guys, <laughs> I'm gonna think she's lying. <laughs> yeah, I got right. nothing to go to. Yo, I'm gonna say that y'all know y'all know the version that y'all know Omar is like a very tame version of Omar. Y'all know that right? Oh, like, you said the virgin Omar. Me too. You no, the virgin. version of Omar. Yeah, I thought you said the virgin Omar. No, like, no, no, you never no, got no, it. No, okay. No. Y'all know that, right? Like the, the version of Omar no, I, that I realized y'all know. today. Yeah, that that nigga y'all you talking about today? He was sweating. He put a whole oh. set together yeah, and didn't no sweat, sweat once. But once, but when he got yeah. shit started going, nigga had head sweats. Thought he, he, had he was a running fever. around, jumping. Felt like he didn't pop a perk sixty. <laughs> Omar jumping, jumping in place so high. I don't, I, know what y'all, I don't know what back. y'all saying, but I can I can imagine that's the Omar that like like five years ago. That's just who he was daily. Wait, hold on, look at this. No, 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 no. don't can show me. No, 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 we'll show him after. You show me after. Oh, we can't show it on the video right now, anyway. No, I was just showing it just for you to look at. I know, but there's no. What you show? You show listeners, listeners, yeah. yeah, listeners yeah. can't see it anyway. Uh, yeah, that's that was Omar daily. Just FYI. Interesting. So interesting. Omar was a player. How are you saying? He got he mad was, bitches. Everything like everything from just excessive like any uh, except Omar was Omar getting mad bitches is crazy. Omar but no, no but Omar Omar was just excessive like uh, very excessive growing up mm-hmm. like very very excessive. Elaborate. What does that mean? Yeah, break that down. So that's real quick. Yeah. Like every, like literally from any and everything, he was just excessive. So he kept having mad bad bitches coming through the house. If that's how you want to. Label it. That's, that's, it's not. He's not trying to label. He's trying to figure out what you're saying. I'm trying to figure out. You oh, know. I'm no. I'm talking about you. It sounded like you saying he was on ten the entire time. Like he was on hundred. Like he was just acting different. Is that what you saying? No. I would say acting different. He's All just right. acting real horny. Yeah. <laughs> like he like he went to the gas station and got one of them hyena pills. <laughs> Uh, I, all right, in that space, I don't know. But I'm saying is that the version of, of Omar y'all know is a very tame version. Mm. And whenever he acts on 10, like when he's, you know, a- amped up to whatever degree, <laughs> what I'm saying is that's who he was normally. That's who he really was. That's who he really was, mm. like normally daily, like five five years ago, from like 16 to five years ago. That's who he was daily. So he's nasty? What? He's, how is that what you got from today's shoot? He's nasty? Huh? <laughs> the way you said that's good. I don't remember he's him doing nothing that led me to believe like he's oh he's nasty? mad like he's Omar's nah, nah, nah. he's filthy. <laughs> okay, all right, guys. I so, don't remember that. Right, you believe Omar? He's, he's still my brother. So let's go. <laughs> you believe Omar a ass? I wouldn't be surprised if he said that. See, like five years ago, if he said like I ate ass, I wouldn't be surprised. The way, he, the way he turns up, that sweat. Oh, that's a nasty nigga sweat. <laughs> <laughs> nigga sweat like that, man. That's that nasty nigga sweat. I just wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> like not not even in the slightest. I wouldn't be surprised if he said like, "Yeah, I, I've eaten ass before." I wouldn't be surprised at all. No, no would you do it? No, I would not eat ass. Okay, good compliment. Yeah, I'm I'm way more I'm more conservative than Omar. I'm way more conservative. 
you like your nipples licked and dominated. That's conservative. But Omar, <laughs> but I'm low end. <laughs> but Omar, oh, I wouldn't. I didn't want to be surprised. It wouldn't be surprised to me. Omar just did shit just to say. Omar is somebody who used to just do shit just to say he did shit. You get tied up, low? Tied up? Yeah. I've never gotten tied up. You got handcuff? Hog tied? No. No. You know a handcuff? Nope. Uh, you, ever get, you ever get pinned or something? <laughs> Hog tied. Is you ever get pinned? Pinned? Yeah. You ever get what smacked you around? Wait, what do you mean by like, pinned? Do you take instructions? Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, I've taken instructions, yeah. Have, have, we done, all have taken you ever done like... Uh, have, we, have you taken instructions before? Nah. Uh, a little bit. Yeah, that's okay. What are we doing? But not like taking instructions. Give examples, because like... Like... Uh, like you just going with whatever she says. Yeah, I've, I've done it before. Yeah. Mm, have you ever? But if she says something crazy, I'd be like, "All right, let's chill, chill out. out." Yeah. So you only eat. You only eat. The you cat. get choked. Yeah. Yeah, I've been choked before. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I, I've said it before though. Mm-hmm. Like one hand or two hands. Two hands no. is crazy. Two, two hands choking is called strangling. Two hands is crazy. Because that means oh, yeah. not only is she choking me, but then she's putting pressure on me choking me. Because she's not like she has her hands to like, yeah, like up support herself while she's choking. Yeah, me. like mm. like like a, a that's a, crazy. A gobble net. What? Like two hands to a shape. No, John. She's never. No, I've never gotten two hand choked. Okay, no. man. The more you know, man. Getting to know Lola a little know. bit better, man. Wow. Never, never had um. Two two hand shake. Probably hey. by next year you'll eat shots. Yo, sh- no, shout out to the Rosen, bro. He's just doing great. Yeah, shout out to the Rosen. He's oh playing like he balling out his mind, bro. You know who else is balling out his mind? Me, man. I had my first commercial shoot yesterday or two With days what? ago. With what? Oh, I can't oh, say. Can you it. You? I can't oh, say. It. It's gonna reveal. I think in like mid January. I was on a commercial with the NBA player. Um, and on top of that, I think um, oh that's yeah, weird, it's gonna be, yeah, it's gonna be on TV and everything. It was a very cool setup. Um, oh, for real? Oh, sorry. yeah. Congrats. That's why I went to Toronto. Hey, congrats. Yeah, thanks, guys. Um, oh, he plays in Toronto. Yeah, Fred Van Fleet. No, no, it wasn't. Scotty Barnes. He said he watches A and P too, which I thought was cool. Scotty Barnes. Y'all could keep guessing, man. Uh, you know what I mean? But it's um, one of those two. It's one of those two. But anyway, it's one of those two. It's one of those two. Yeah, yeah. yeah shout out to Scotty, nigga. Shout out to that nigga, yeah. Scott Barnes, nigga. Anyway, we peep you, brother. It was yeah. a cool. It was a cool ass shoot, bro. I never seen nothing that professional before. They had people there that job was to focus cameras that other people were holding. So it was like a mobile. There was nothing oh, connected. Wow. Everything wirelessly. They were changing the focus of the camera. Mm-hmm. I've never seen cameras that high quality. A team that try hard in my life. Everything was just smooth in motion, in motion, in motion. So you mm-hmm. you got. They told you to get there at a the time. Yeah. Y'all started. You know, yo, when I tell you the area they shut down in Toronto is like a busy, like rich white neighborhood. And that area, I've they shut down the whole street with just straight trucks of equipment, all type of stuff. I've never seen nothing like it before. So you gonna answer this question? What was your question? He said y'all started on the time in which they told you to be there. Yeah, of course. Oh wow, how did yeah. that feel? Uh, well, we now we didn't actually. I, I was there for like an hour doing like wardrobe. Someone did my makeup. Um, didn't really. What well, was part of you being? You didn't make up. Yeah, she put like some stuff here. She put some stuff here and some stuff here, but I didn't want her to. But she just did it anyway. But anyway, I had a breakout here, here. So <laughs> I, I think I was supposed to wipe it off after. I didn't do that, but uh, mm, I just completely yeah. forgot about it. Um, but yeah, the whole process was really cool. They had us. They had a, a room for food, and they said anything you want, we'll get it for you. They had a snack room and they had a food truck right outside. I've never. Mm. Anyway. All I had to say, I can't say anything about it until it releases, but it was a fantastic shoot. I uh, can't wait for everyone to see it. And I'm close to potentially being a voiceover for another commercial on TV that you'll actually see in this country. Oh, so the other one won't see you over there? Yeah, that's probably in Canada. Shout out to Scotty Mars, man. Okay. I don't know how you came to that conclusion. Shout out to Scotty. Anyway. Um, yeah. yeah. Shout out to Scotty, dog. Cool thing. And we just had a fucking successful A&P shoot, so everything's going pretty fucking dandy. Yeah, no cap. Everything's going pretty good. Well. It was a good video. It started late, but it was lit. Yeah. Oh, man. It was a good That's cast. A it was a very good cast. No cap. Mm-hmm. The cast Omar did that? The cast carried it. Yeah. Uh, John John is like, I, I don't even think I've seen John in a video underperform in my life. He's just always the funniest person. I was actually tight that you went first. Um, and I don't want to spoil Yeah, nothing, I was trying to like hold it. Because I knew I was going to get eliminated for con. But I was like. I'm not gonna lie, but it was trash. Because <laughs> he came out, I was like, damn, I'm about to get the best, Nick. He wasn't the best. 
I was anyway, like, dang. When people see the video, y'all going to fuck with it. And we're announcing like two really big things um, in that video as well. Mm. So it's going to be a hype video. It's going to be great content. Yeah. And there's going to be two dope announcements. Uh, Liddy. Yeah, I just feel like a lot of things is happening. It's like everything is kind of emotional. And it's December, you see me. So it's money making month. So Facts. everybody's on their grind and things of that nature. That's uh, right. Uh, yeah, man. Um, yeah, so I'm a, I'm an actor now. You feel me? I, I guess. I act and shit. You feel me? I guess. You know what I'm saying? I basically act or whatever. I, I mean, I guess. Yeah, man, I How many act. lines do you have in the, in the commercial? Um, Maybe like 35 to 40% of lines for me. Overall? Yeah. Oh. I don't know how much of them they're going to keep in, though. Oh, of course. Of course. They could just edit. Yeah. Edit you out to only like two or three lines. Yep. That's interesting. Congrats, man. Though. Congrats. Yeah, man. Yeah, congrats, yeah. Congrats, man. congrats, congrats. Uh, I pr- actually, I want. I probably won't even see the uh, other commercial. You probably have to tell me about it because I don't. That one's not confirmed yet. I don't think. But well, whenever it is, just let me know because I, I don't watch TV. So you I probably see it. I don't. I don't you watch w- NBA games. Yeah, but I have I have YouTube Premium. Oh, so you get no ads. There's no ads. Yeah. yeah. So, um, what what I want to talk about? Oh uh, yeah. So, um, hypothetically speaking, somebody wanted to know this. This is what um, a, uh, a a viewer asked me. I hate it's, when people, yeah, y'all be saying sentences and put shit on everybody but yourself. No, no, I'm just saying nah, this. Is, this yeah, this is why. This is what a viewer asked me this. A viewer asked me this specifically. He's trolling right now, and he wanted to know specifically from John too. Okay. So he wanted, but I mean, we gonna we gonna answer this question. So hypothetically speaking, if you right. if you smash a chick, right, right, raw dog. Or even not in the draw though, you just smash her. And then a year later, she says she was pregnant and had a baby and it was yours. Right? And then a baby low key kind of looked like you, right? And is it how how is it like you're going to be able to get how would you go about getting a DNA test without her knowing? Without her knowing. What? How would you go about getting a DNA test without? Because you know DNA tests are not mandatory. No, the reason I'm saying what, low, because this is about a year removed from yeah. your story about you fucking the pregnant girl. This is not a year removed. This has nothing to do with you. No. Okay. Also, this isn't a year removed. This, this is like, like two so, years ago. So he's asking, how would I go about getting? A- you have to steal the baby. <laughs> okay. That sounds that's a great baby throw up my shirt, keep it, put it in a ziploc bag. No, 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 you're not you're not constantly around a baby. But I'm a that's the only Here's thing. Here's what I'm you gotta a, do, bro. She just calls you. She's calls I've watched you. Watch CSI. And says like you need to get a hair sample, a you need to get a saliva sample, you need a toenail get, clipping? Yep, toenail clipping, a dookie sample, a pee sample. God damn. I only need that many samples. And a photo of the baby. <laughs> <laughs> but how are you doing it? Cause I know for like some like are you just gonna come walk around with a Q tip and just swab in the baby's mouth and like then put in a ziploc bag? I mean the thing is like mm-hmm. that's a very as you gonna do without nobody know you're gonna just like keep keep Q tips around you. I- I'll leave like a trail of Scooby snacks into like um, my white van. Of course you need the well, white. I'll tie the baby up. <laughs> let's pause with you for a second. I'll tie the baby up. <laughs> okay, let's pause with a good hot meal <laughs> hey, and let it hey, hey, let's pause all both of y'all niggas for a second. Huh? No, just talk, put the <laughs> no, baby in the right, car seat. Let's, hey, hey, let it smell hey, the food. Guys, and let's watch it grow. Hey, hey, let's regroup at the top of this question again. All right. <laughs> so I'm going to ask it again. Just rethink what y'all are telling me, all right? Okay, you don't like my first answer. No, I didn't like neither one of y'all oh, first okay. answers. Okay. okay. <laughs> all right, again. You got a girl pregnant. A year later, she says it's yours, and it looks like you. How do you go so about? So it's mine. You said I got a girl pregnant. So you saying it's mine? But I mean, you don't. You didn't. You you didn't think. You don't know if it's yours note. or not. Just ask her. She's saying it's yours. Okay, but I, I need to know. We what haven't, we haven't talked in a year. I'm just gonna take your word yeah. for it. Exactly. So, but she. But she's Last like, time I fought, you. Obviously, she's not if, giving you a DNA test. She's already why? claiming it is yours. Why? 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 Because you're agent zero. So she says it's yours. Okay. I'm glad she's saying that. I need the doctor to say it. So how yeah. do you go about getting a DNA? Test? That child support is not gonna say what oh, she want to yeah, say. Yeah. How the fuck she <laughs> gonna attribute a child to me? 
You and know, you know, there's stories like that. We should react to that on playback where like men I've get heard, hit with yeah. yeah. I've heard. You saw, you heard about that nigga that served five years in jail because he didn't pay child support yeah, to a child that out, wasn't his. That wasn't his. Yeah, I seen that. Oh man, oh man, that's she, fucking she, insane. Cause she she oh, wrote man, his oh, name man. on the birth, birth certificate. certificate. And he wasn't there. He asked, he just she just said, I need a I need a name to write down because I needed some type of government assistance. Oh man, oh man. And so then five years went by and then he went to jail because and then she openly like uh, in a news report, yeah, she openly it. admits she that she needs to go to jail. She doesn't need to go to jail. Yes. Nah. ASAP. For like quintuple That's the crazy. length that he went to jail. Yeah. He, she I'm, go to jail. I'm in the I'm in the hard rock for five years. No, no, no. Push ups and sit ups. After I'm five years, he went family. to jail. I don't know how long he went to jail for. You say after five years, then he went to jail. No, no, no. no, no he he, he went to jail for five, five years. Five years. Oh. He served five years. Yeah, he went to jail for five years. Oh, yeah, I'm coming out. I'm whooping every every male you love. Yeah, he went to jail. <laughs> There's other males who like wow. who keep going to court about it, and then the um the public defendant is doing a shit job. It, it, ideally, like y'all not gonna baby, answer the question that the other person wants to know, huh? The baby wants the baby's gonna be the loser in this situation. Yeah, because the baby, the baby needs someone to care for them and provide for them. Yep. So you ideally should have parents who's willing to do both. But now, put, why would put someone in jail help the baby? It doesn't. So then why but, do because you're not paying child support? So then and no one's still, gonna pay. And she says she's still messing with the 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 real baby daddy. Okay, I did not see that part. And yeah, that would be yeah. She's still messing. She with the knew real the baby real daddy. one. She knew the real one. Okay, I'm, I didn't hear that part. I just yeah, I heard a good the playback video. Yeah, I heard she the, knew the real one. Is she gonna meet the real one? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yep. All right, John. But how I, I would it? That's a weird. We question also need to. Re- I, I don't want to sneak. She gonna have to do it. But like, she's not going. She's not doing it though. I, 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 nothing I can do for you. You need to just trick her, make her believe it's a pediatrician's uh, appointment, mm. and then they're getting just samples for like mm. the whole time. It's a DNA test. Mm, okay. You just bamboozle her, man. I would just walk around with Q-tips, just swab the baby's mouth, put in a Ziploc bag, and then just hand her the DNA results. You can't just like, catch the bird. No. How the fuck you catch a burp, John? You put a, a Ziploc bag over the baby mouth? He oh, did. burp is air. I mean, throw up. Hit him on his back till he burps. <laughs> this nigga said a burp and thought it was vomit. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> you know a baby burp when it goes, <laughs> I, I, I know a burp. Yeah. But the nigga is done. The DNA's in the air. Like, unless you just grabbing that bitch in the air. What's the difference it's between done. a burp and a belch? It's the same thing. They call it belch? I've heard it called belch, yeah. Oh, wow. That's my first time hearing that. Um, also the Brittany Renner thing too. Yeah, you know, I can't believe niggas like let Brittany Renner get off on the lies that she was telling niggas like like uh like a month ago. So now yo, know, we I think we talked about it last episode where like last podcast where she was like she was broke and she was homeless and she mm-hmm. didn't have a car. Now all of a sudden no, I don't think we talked about that. We didn't we didn't talk about that, John? I don't believe we talked about her. I don't think so. All right, so yeah, all right, if we didn't, here here it is. Yo, also we're gonna stay this up, put it on um Clip channel as well So Hey click that top link Yeah facts Damn don't scream at him Ask nicely They'll do it if you ask nicely So um Yeah Brittany Renner Unfortunately we weren't I thought we did But I'll just say it again Unfortunately we weren't able to um React to her in academics Because like They just took down the video So we just like Ah oh, it is what it is So then Um On On the academics uh, Stream She was sitting there Like going back and forth And trying to prove herself Saying like I don't need him Like I've been making money For 10 years And I'm good I'm straight Yeah she was saying She was talking all that shit So then Recently Like in the past Like month She been She had a video On um On Instagram Where she just Played victim again About like how Oh I thought that This was gonna be the one And I left Beautiful California to go to North Carolina, and now I'm homeless. I don't have a car. I don't have a baby. I've been thugging it, and it's like, what the fuck? What are we going on right now? That's yo. It's crazy how people just use your lack of information against you because that happens so much in like dramas where people selectively pick the information that makes them look like the best person. Yeah. In that academics video, she was arguing that she sacrificed a lot by leaving her other house to move in with him. Yes. And then we found out she had no money. That's why you fucking left that house because you didn't want to pay for a house because you couldn't afford to. And it was a perfectly fine mansion or whatever. It was a good place, I bet. It's an NBA player, maybe a great condo that she was staying at. But, but it, it would feel like, damn, she did sacrifice a lot by going to... Like, she could get you to believe that by yeah. just being deceitful. Yeah. 
Yeah, you're not bamboozling me. Stop but, it. But the crazy and the crazy part about it is like even to the people she is bamboozling, I'm like, how is she consistently giving off these lies where, like you said again, she's selectively telling y'all information that she wants you all to know. Again, you can't go from I ain't taking advantage of no man. I make my own money, da da da. da but then you you're broke. How is that possible? How you how is it that you don't have a car? She how? said she said she was spending a lot of her money recklessly. Which so is that like, still means you're broke. It does. And and on top of that, that also means you're a bad decision maker. Exactly. So, it, so that's not like that won't make you a victim. That actually makes you more liable. Exactly. So it doesn't matter. Like to the people out there, because I hear this argument all the time. I'm like, well, no, she making money all by herself. She making a whole bunch of IG money. So FYI side note, I've, there's, you can talk to plenty of like Instagram models or people who just make money on Instagram and it's not as lucrative as y'all think it is. But let's just say hypothetically speaking on Brittany Renner's like side because she's upper echelon. Let's just say it is really good money. It doesn't matter if she makes two, three, four, five hundred thousand dollars or more a year. If she's spending all of that money a year, that still means that she is broke. So if you get to the point where you're making five hundred thousand dollars a year, but you're spending five hundred thousand dollars a year, you are broke. So you sitting here saying that, why would I need an NBA player? Why would I need him? I make my own money. It's because you were broke. This portion of the podcast is sponsored by Raycon Wireless Earbuds. Look, man, by now you've probably seen plenty of different holiday guides, gifts, man. You're racking your brain on what gift to give your family members, your friends, your loved ones. Stop that search spray, ladies and gentlemen, because Raycon, they got y'all blessed with these wireless earbuds. Hey, no cow. I was at the gym the other day. I had my Raycon Wireless Earbuds in on bass mode. Mm. was jamming out to all my favorite songs on Rap Caviar playlist. Having a great old time. And honestly, they have fantastic audio quality. Like, when you throw them in your ears and you hear every single note, every word that's uttered, even from these mumble rappers. Remember when the word mumble rappers is like a term people use to refer to rappers? They kind of still do. No, nah, it's just not them. as many mumble rappers. No, as we just call them rappers now. I guess. Yeah. yeah, we just call them rappers. They're just regular rappers now. That's sad. Yeah. Hey, back to these Raycon wireless earbuds, though. They start at less than half the price of other premium earbuds, but provide that premium quality. Mm. Look, with their latest model, they have three different sound profiles. I talked earlier about bass mode as described. A lot of bass, but they also have the balanced mode, which gives you a little bit of both bass and treble. Mm -hmm. And then they have the pure mode, which is more for like podcast listening, uh, more an audio experience, you know, mm -hmm. kind of like this podcast here. Of course. Mm -hmm. They're available in five different colors. So you have options when you're gift giving this gift season. And on top of that, you get free shipping and returns. So gifting is easier than ever. The holidays are coming up faster than you think. Now is the time to knock out that gift list and avoid that last minute shipping scramble, especially because right now, my listeners with peer to peer listeners will get 15% off site-wide with code HOLIDAY at buyraycon.com slash peer. Go to buyraycon.com slash peer and use code HOLIDAY today to get 15% off your first Raycon order. Buyraycon.com slash peer. And it's a huge thank you to Raycon for sponsoring this portion of the podcast. You don't go from making good money to then after nine months or a year of not doing anything, even though you're living up in that man's house, to not having anything. How do you now miraculously don't have a car? How does that happen? If you made all that money doing IG like over the car, year, bro. yeah, you don't have a car. You can get a working car for like four or five thousand. Come on, you don't have a car? Come on, stop it. Even if you, while you're doing like IG for that long, how do you not have a car? How do you only have one house if you making really money like that, like that? How is that possible? How do you have zero? How, how do you have zero dollars to your name to the point where you're living with your with your mom? That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't. That's not how it works. You get in a relationship and miraculously, all the things that you own just disappear. That car that you were driving just disappears all of a sudden because you got into a relationship. That's not how that works. Also, she's trying to like spin this narrative that like the world is against her, and that like people just want to see her fail, and it's like. You just made yourself unlikable. You, yeah. you, you form this brand of yourself into a person that is like very polarizing. And so how could you be surprised when you get a large percentage of people that know about you as just critics? Like most people that have an audience online is not like that. It's because they're not as polarizing as you. You can't get online and make books about finessing men and then think that your audience is going to be like this pure homogenous group of people that all think the same and support you. That's just not how the shit works. And even to, even to that degree, I mean, we keep every single time where she's like, how, how is it that like I'm a predator because I'm older and he's younger. Like sure. That might've been some dynamic, 
But the other one and the more important one is because you made videos highlighting how easy it is to get a check off of athletes. That's literally what you said. That would then make you a predator. The age gap doesn't matter at that point. You purposefully going after a certain type of man to get money from that man would then make you a predator. That's predator behavior. It doesn't matter about the age. Like in the natural sense of the word. Literally. Like you does just predatorial. Yeah, that's predatorial. That'd, that'd be like if if I was like, damn, black people love watermelon. And I was a watermelon company and I would just target in communities that were black. I put all these billboards up. It's this is predatorial. Like you know who you're going after. Some people call it marketing, uh, but it's predatory in nature. You have a target market and it becomes predatorial when you're taking advantage of people to do it. Like if I'm trying to sell you a watermelon and I sell you a watermelon, well, then it's an exchange. You're giving me money for what we agreed that this watermelon is worth. And you agreed because you paid for it. Otherwise, you just find another watermelon. You are finessing people. And finesse is like a term used to, it's not an equal transaction. It's not. Because then it wouldn't be a finesse. It would just be a transaction. It's when you get over on somebody, you bamboozle them. So, yeah, how could, how could you not see that as predatorial? But the, you're comparing yourself to other people's relationships where that's not the case. You're missing the point. But the, the problem that happens every single place she goes where she's trying to have this dialogue or conversation, it's like people don't challenge her. And it's like, OK, that may have been one part of it. But the other part of it is that you cannot go on Twitter or you cannot go on Instagram, make these posts about what somebody did or didn't do and then act like, oh, I don't know how this happened. Like, I don't know why y'all so upset at me. And it's like, that's not that's not how that works. But especially when the shit that you're saying is inconsistent. When you say one thing and it completely contradicts the shit you're saying the next week, such as, I don't need him. I have my own money. I've been doing this shit for a decade. Then the next week you're saying, oh, what was me? I, I don't have no place to go. I don't have a car. I don't know. Like, that doesn't make any sense. That just does not make any sense. Again, ladies and gentlemen, if you make $500,000, but then you spend all $500,000, it doesn't matter how much money you made. If you spent it all, that then means that you are broke. You're broke, dog. That's how athletes, they go broke because they spend all of their money. Yeah. 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 But they ain't, but to them to the women out there who follow Brittany Renner, right? I'll be following her straight to to I guess back to your mom when you get pregnant, I guess. Because she's what y'all niggas. The fact this so it's and it's also sad how many women like applaud her. It's crazy. Like the shit that she says and the, how she lives her life is like very, very There's nothing about her life that's appealing. No not nothing. It's but it's also very Odd and misleading in only a certain demographic of people, regardless of men or women, certain demographic of people can live that life. And the fact that they're just average, normal people who are taking advice from her is crazy to me. You try to brand yourself as like the boss, independent yeah. person. And then the second is convenient, arguing that like, oh, I was at the mercy of this NBA player and he just did me so wrong. How could he do that? I was relying <laughs> on him. You're not end of you're not the things you said you were. I get that at the end of the day, guys. A brand is a brand. Like I, I have, I have my brand on YouTube, and the reality is, I literally might not be those things that you guys think I am. But on my videos, I make it seem like I am. And in person, you meet me, you might get the sense that I'm not or I am those things. But regardless, is besides the point. What what is the point is that you built a brand that was not true to you because it appealed to a mass amount of people. So don't turn your back on that brand all of a sudden when it's convenient for you. You stay independent. Well, you're not that independent if you move in with your mom at the end of the day. But at the end of the day, bro, it's your fucking life. Live it how you want to. You continue to make bad decisions. You get bad results. Stop fucking complaining to the world when it happens. Not everyone's out to get you. You just made poor fucking decisions. And it's crazy because like, this is just a perfect representation of like who you are as a person. Because like if if you you can't keep going, like you said, go around like blaming other people and you keep making poor decisions. And so now here's a another example of you making a poor decision and you're like, oh, it's this person, that person fault. But like you keep also interact interacting in those poor decision makings. So if you keep actively participating in them, then something is clearly wrong with what you're doing as well. It, it, I don't know It just it, it blows me away Even to the point Where she was saying like Yeah man Me having a baby Really took me out of 
working and like that's just who I was. I was working. I was you know I was IG modeling and stuff like that and t- taking a baby really just messes that up. And you it's like the problem with that is you right also there. made that decision to have a child as well. Like also, what are we talking about? If you right feel now? like you're giving something up to the point where you you lost yourself because you had a baby, then you're gonna hold. Like a level of resentment over the child that didn't make a decision to be born. You made that decision for him or her. It's just like, fuck, bro. Crazy. Yeah. Anyway, um, some people make mistakes and learn from other people, just keep repeating them and blaming everybody else. And it's like, you're one or the other. I, I made a mistake and dealt with toxic people and I just adjusted. Uh, it wasn't worth the headache. And some people just continue to make it until you eventually have three baby mamas and f- f- like a very dysfunctional family. And it's like, that's on you, brother. I didn't know Boosie had that many kids. Boosie has like eight kids. Something Boosie like that. got a little girl that sounds just like him. That's crazy. Like, she, I think he, it was her birthday or something. That's nuts. Actually. It was the funniest that's thing. That's crazy. Yo, a, a little girl sound like Boosie is fucking crazy. <laughs> you know, like she, Google, Google it. Go, uh, Boosie girl, Boosie little. Who's say he's a Boosie daughter? What? Oh, Boosie daughter. That's what he's called her. Yeah, Boosie I find daughter. The name for daughter. He's like Boosie Boosie's child, little <laughs> woman, girl. The girl that's little. The the thing that like that girl, that little girl. Yeah, what is that? The, the uh, Boosie's daughter receiving her presents or something like that. It'll pop up. It's funny. Oh my goodness gracious. Um. What else, what else? What else? Anything else you need to talk about, bro? It was a lot of stuff when I came here, but yo, I've been having like a career high level of brain fog in the last two weeks, where like my brain just can't locate certain pieces of information that's very necessary for me to finish my sentences, and it's gotten better the past two days, but it's been bad, bro, to the point where like I even played around with the idea of trying Adderall. I didn't do it. Okay, yeah. I didn't even like source it out. But in my head, I was like, you think that would solve my problem? But I just started eating healthier instead. Let's try that first. <laughs> yes. <laughs> because uh, to jump to Adderall. I just don't want to be dependent on nothing else for like my happiness, productivity, and all that shit. But yeah, I'm eating healthier now. You feel me? It's way more expensive to eat healthier. No cap. Whoa. I never saw this. Uh, Robert Griffin the third says his experience, he experienced. Robert Griffin? Who's, who's that? Yeah, for, quarterback, quarterback for the um, oh, Washington, for Washington football team. Yeah, I want to say that same. Yeah. Does he still play for them? I don't think so. No, but he said um, he experienced s harassment while playing in Washington. To, from other people? I don't know. I just saw the title. And it's crazy. Oh well, it's not comment on that. Who? It's not comment on it until we know, guys. You know, s did not look dumb. Wait, what? Let's well, not comment on it till we know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What if it was just like he got his ass slapped? You know, they do slap ass in the locker rooms. Or maybe it was more than that. You know, like we've seen AD in the Kentucky locker room before. Oh, slap ass. Slap, slap ass. ass. <laughs> Good game. Good game. <laughs> Bad game. Don't matter. I slap ass. Come here. Keen Peel is one of the most underrated duos in like TV history. Hey, hey Ron. Bro, that shit went viral. We wouldn't stop saying that in class. You know, me and you going viral, though. When I was smacking oh, your ass with that beanie. You know, that Waleed, video just dropped today, right? Yeah. Will Lee put it out first? Yeah, Will Lee. I was like, yeah, I can't believe he did Waleed. that. He's showing everybody. Yeah. <laughs> this- ah, you saw this? <laughs> Where the video at? Not yet. Not yet. Ain't dropped. Not when he yet. actually did it, I was I like, got, oh, man, the video first. must be out. And I went I, there. I, I thought like, the video was out. I just- I like your nigga. Why would you um, drop that in the video not out yet? But yeah, I, I saw like, that. Hey I saw man, that. it's just like it's so selfish and shit, man. It's like you gotta think about me, man. Think about the video. How's life in a new Tesla, though? You getting more like uh, are you uh, developing your superiority complex? Yeah, a little bit, man. Let me talk about it real quick. I hold you. I know you see Camrys on the road now, and you're like, ugh. No, 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 not that. Ugh, zero to sixty in how many seconds? I, I look. I look at you know people. me. I got the P behind me. I got the performance. So I look at I look at people and I'm, hey, like, I'm in ludicrous mode. Oh, Get first, the fuck out the way. First, first thing I'll say is like, man, there's a lot of brothers and sisters driving Teslas, and you're just in Atlanta. Hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> but I thought it was gonna be um, um, what you call it? But hopefully, they not faking it till they make it. Like they ain't fronting and stuff like that. What? I hope I hope that's not the case. But this whole I, city is fronting, bro. The whole city. Yeah, I know. But that's what I'm saying. I went back to I'm, Toronto and saw straight Hondas and Toyotas. And Toronto is a more expensive city, and everyone there makes more than people here. But I just but I mean, it's, it's more expensive living now. It may make more, but it's also the living expenses. I, I get that. Well. Just in 
in terms of the average person in Toronto makes way more and has more to spend. True. So what are we saying? <laughs> but the point I'm making is people have less to spend here and still have way more luxurious cars. This is just a flexor city. Like you don't see, you would have, have to I'm go to like West Hollywood to see the amount look, of like I'm just trying to be Maseratis optimistic. And but I'm just trying to be optimistic. I regularly see. I'm just trying to be optimistic, okay? I'm trying to be optimistic. Or maybe f Miami. Because Miami is also another like, uh, let me rent this, this uh, Maserati. I haven't been to Miami enough to know. I've only been there a couple times. Oh, but when we went, I was like, man, it's a lot of. We was in Miami Beach, though. It's not the same thing as Miami. Oh, that, but that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, this is what I mean by superiority complex. There's just an abundance of people that I feel like, like, are y'all, you trying to hit my car right now? What's going on? Why are you such a bad driver right now? Why are you, why are you swerving in front of me? And the reason why before when I would be driving like the Camry or the Highlander, especially a Highlander, I would be like, man, please just fucking end this car right now. End it. Just fucking hit me right now. <laughs> hit me right now so I can have another reason. Just go fucking get a new car. Just hit me right now. Hit me. Hit me. Fuck. You missed me. Damn. Now it's like, <laughs> now I'm like, whoa, what, what are you doing, dog? What are you doing? Yeah. That, that type of shit. I was at my first race. Did you are you on? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Who would challenge you? Well, no, it was two actually. One nigga was in a forerunner, and we were just casually like having fun, like on the road. Like I don't know, I don't know what the nigga was doing. Like he started, he he started overtaking me, and I was like, ah, put in this sport real quick. So then I put in the sport, and I drove by by him, and we got to the light, and we both looked at each other like, ah, ha, 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 that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. And then as soon as the light turned green, he took off, and I was like, oh, we're still doing this. So then I took off, caught out to him. But then we were both getting on the highway, so we both got on the highway. A long and, ass race, bro. Oh, this is what like I didn't know he was gonna go on the highway. So we get to the highway, and I was like, okay, now I can. I'm really about to fucking smoke the shit out of you. You about to fuck him up? Yeah, and I just on like e I just fucking blew past this nigga like immediately, instantly. So that there that happened. He's in a forerunner. <laughs> in a forerunner. As an off road car. Then then the other one was a um um a Corvette C8. I don't know. It was just a, it was. It was um, Did it look I, new? I can't tell. Yeah, it was new. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, it was new. C8. It was new. And smoked that nigga out, out the fucking crate. And I didn't even go on Ludacris or Ludacris Puss. It just strictly sport. Mm. Immediately, bam. So as soon as I hit my fucking foot on the pedal, to smoke that nigga. Yep. Wasn't even close. I know. That's tough, man. I, that's tough for some of y'all niggas, dog. That's, that's real tough for y'all niggas. Yeah. The problem with Teslas is that you will never lose a race. It's not fair. Yeah. This is not fair. You like as soon as I beat that Corvette, I was like, "Oh, this isn't fair." No yeah, more. you just won't lose. Yeah, this is no, yeah, it's not it's fair. Fair. You'd have to like not go, and then they go, then you lose. But mm. then you just didn't participate. Yeah, true. So true did true. you lose? <laughs> yeah, true, true, true. Yeah. But then the other thing I uh, I noticed more eyes are like watching me and stuff like that. We um we went you to got camp. a tent up. Yeah, so I'm gonna get yeah tent up and stuff like that. I went to Camp Creek and went to go park the car to get the charge and got something to eat. And then as soon as I hopped out, somebody's like, yo, are you da 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 And I know for a fact, normally, if I was in a camera, I would probably just be able to. Why you call that? I just call mine the camera because it's looking a little exotic now, you know. Got the, the windows tinted and the, and the chrome deleted out. That's called a camera now. If I was driving a camera, um, I know for a fact, I don't think anybody would even stop to notice. But now in the uh, in the Model X, now it's like, oh, who that, who that? So, yeah. I don't know why. I don't know how, especially you Davis. big ass smile on your face. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I, don't know, I don't know how Davis get, does the fucking, um, the color shit that he does. I would not feel safe driving around in a uh, Tesla with a crazy color. Yeah, you shouldn't feel safe driving around in general. I don't. Well, I don't really. Not. No, I don't. It's not to that, that extent. But if I knew that I was the only person in the city with like an orange Tesla, I would, I would be like, okay, this is, I need to be a little bit more hesitant about what's going on. These outside lasering this room. That's great. He's bored. Yeah, very bored. <laughs> so bored. To go outside and start lasering a room is crazy. Um, yeah, I don't know how he does that. Because he had an orange and gold Tesla. So I'm like, how? why, why, why like. Yeah, that gold one was crazy. Yeah, the gold is very I, crazy. I, I, don't, I don't know I how he does that. close. I don't even see an orange one. I saw That's a what I'm Tiffany saying. blue one at my job, though. Oh, what? It was nice. A Tiffany blue Tesla. I haven't seen that either. But I don't, that's what I'm that's saying. I don't, nice. I don't want to be the only person in the entire city with that color Tesla. Because then it's immediate, like, 
that's him. Like that's who. That's who you know. But they're they're not. You guys don't have enemies though, so they're not out to get you. People that Says get who? people that you don't have. Well, not not enemies, but people still would proceed to think like, oh, you driving that, then you must have. Then money. they're gonna think that regardless. Yeah, but then you what? stick out even more though. That's what I'm talking about. Orange Tesla, you don't stick out anymore, right, especially a gold Tesla. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if people identify it's me before I get out. They just know that whoever's driving that might be a lick. Mm. So they're gonna, they might they're gonna try you at the same percentage. The only way that matters if you have enemies. If you had enemies and then they could identify you. Who's saying got enemies? You have enemies, bro. Got enemies, dog. All right. He's a PSA to Marcel's enemies. You gotta say to them. Fuck them niggas, dog. Yo, fuck y'all niggas left and right, nigga. I'm out here driving that shit with that four five on me, nigga. Watch out, nigga. I'll blast your bitch ass. <laughs> you probably made some new enemies. <laughs> just, just off of your mouth. <laughs> but yeah, I've definitely noticed there's more people, and I do need to hurry up and get my shit tinted and uh, get that shit, you know, on yeah. point, on point, on point. That's why I like my truck. And you gotta be into trucks to know what the TRX is all about. Yo, you see, little baby shitted on me on IG. He did, bro. This nigga, uh, I little baby posted a story. He shit on you specifically? No, not on me specifically. Okay. He shitted on me though. He posted his TRX with all these mods on it. I like, damn, my mods don't come in for two months, little baby. How'd you get your mods so quickly? Okay. You competing with little baby is crazy. He has his car wrapped in all type of shit. <laughs> this nigga, this nigga, <laughs> hey, this nigga to convince himself. It was on his story. Though. I'm I don't competing. Think it's on there no more. I'm competing with little baby because he posted shit on his story. Uh, why He's are you nuts to, to me. Shit on me, bro. I know you seen them T Rex videos, man. Back up, bro. You posted it where? In stories. It's on the story, gone. but it was like two days ago, so you can't see it no more. Unless he keeps posting it, in which case, all right, little baby. Nah. <laughs> okay. You only, you only posted once. Probably just want to show you. Yeah, he, so he, he posted yeah. that from me, bro. Yeah, he posted. Yeah, he's definitely he was like, yo, agent got a new, he got a TRX. TRX? Oh, yeah. bet he's nigga, a TRX motor. Hey, that, that nigga shit popped up on his homepage. Like agent again the dropping the a TRX Pito. video. Ooh, baby, uh, some nigga go by agent two zeros got a TRX. Uh, <laughs> agent two zeros got a shit on him. <laughs> exactly, exactly. I'm gonna post it on my story right now. Oh uh, shit, I'm gonna post it right now. I gotta just finish up eating this happy meal with sweetie. And I'm gonna They're post dating? it. They are dating. Huh? They are dating. But he and said he there was left, no. He just went to his baby mama event. Little baby winning. Waterboards giving him money. Waterboards yeah. gave him money? Give give it on his yeah, giving him money. Yeah, but Water I'm, boys they're giving him money? Gave it give, yes. Yo, and he took it? Huh? <laughs> I don't know if I don't know if he, he took sh- it. I would. <laughs> but, um, just but to validate myself money. in the city, yeah, I'll take that money. But the the yeah. hustlers just handing you money. I'll be mad at That's crazy. If earlier that morning you harassed me and I gave you five and you gave it to baby, man, yeah, I would be mad. Too, I I, I, I like, drove past me. I drove past one of the Spit water on boys. And he was like, "Yo, agent, <laughs> you not gonna buy a t shirt?" I was like, "Damn, I don't have money." And he's like, "You got cash app?" I said, "Yeah." So he got they me. got it all. Yeah. So then Demo. I was like, I was like, "Damn, yeah, I buy a t shirt, but then the shit went green. I had to take a left turn." I was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah pull up to the light." Cause I thought it was gonna stop by the time I got there. There's so many cars. That the light did not stop, bro. So I had to keep going. But then I waited there when I turned left for like five minutes. I tried to wave him down and everything. And he just thinks I lied to him. Now there's one water boy who just thinks I lied straight to his face. Talk to he her. watches my videos, so now I just look bad. You better have that money out next time, nigga. <laughs> yeah. Better have that cash ready. <laughs> Niggas might see you, dog. He's a, he's not, he ain't gonna let you slide twice. <laughs> he let you slide the first time because you're a YouTuber. Yeah. You ain't really bought that, but you, yeah, you well, ain't gonna play me twice. Wait, what, what, not, color, what color you rapping your um is it a surprise? I'm not I'm not rapping it yet. I'm, I'm gonna go two tone, but it's not gonna be rap yet. I'm gonna see how it looks once I add my mods to it and then I'm gonna rap it. What mods are you using? A specific one? Like you changing the oh, interior look? Type of stuff. It's so much carbon fiber I ordered. Like I can't even tell you the amount of carbon fiber. But the company I bought it from said, damn, no one's ordered everything we have. So damn. Yeah. I do I do want to change the um You hear that baby? <laughs> 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 that nigga still competing. Catch up, nigga. When they bought a company, they have your shit stopped. Yeah, uh, nigga, your shit for coming. I do. I do want to change. I do want to change the steering wheel of my uh, Tesla because it's very, very bland and generic. I want to change that. Like, nah, that's, that. that's some real money. You hear about a nigga buying something, so you buy the company and you cancel his order. That's some Bruce Wayne shit. Bruce Wayne used to do that shit oh in, my the fucking, God. in the fucking in the on comic books. So you got a special part coming in. Nah, I'm just gonna buy it. <laughs> We're starting to That's crazy And don't even refund you no, Let me find out on Google Lil Baby purchased <laughs> That would be crazy That would be crazy Lil Baby purchased uh, Ram Motorsports Inc 
No, you know, it's, still na- it's still nasty that you took it personal. Yeah, I was like, damn, dog. I just I had got it a month ago. Give me some shine. I'm the only person I know with this vehicle, but now nah, there's two of us. It's like there's nah, now there's nah, two baby. of us. Yeah, man. Baby. I wonder how many. No, it's, I'm pretty sure plenty, plenty of TRXs run around here. No, there's, I haven't seen one, but I know you're right. I haven't seen one either. Actually, I've, I've never I've in my seen life seen one. one. Yeah, they're just they're just hard to find. Well, no, actually, I did. I think I was with Waleed. Oh, yeah, Waleed found lounge. one. Yeah, and he called you. Yeah, yeah. He had a blue one. Mm. You see, the yours got all the decal, like the um, no. the Raptor decal in it. No, it doesn't have. I don't like decals on my shit. No, no, no. I mean, I'm mean, not saying that you the mean. Imprint. There's fifteen hundred dollars, and they put decals of TRX everywhere. No, but they have the Raptor. Oh yeah, it has those. It does. That shit yeah. is hilarious. Yeah, that's funny. If y'all, if y'all know, like the fucking um, this is a Ram and it's like TRX. It's called. It's like for a T Rex and it's shitting on like the Ford Raptor, right? And in the car, like there's like almost like Easter eggs of like, like a like a T Rex eating a Raptor and some shit like that. It's fucking nuts. And comparing the size because a, a T Rex is way bigger than a Raptor. Yeah. Um, yeah. Straight shitting on you. There's one, on the engine, there's one under the engine cover, and there's one uh, in the middle console. console. Yeah, center console. I, I learned that when I was on the brink of buying one. I was like, oh man, this is cool. Yeah, man. Doug I'm on, taught I'm me all about my car. I almost convinced myself. I was like, man, that, wow, it does. It's shitting on a Raptor like that. Wow. Said, TRX, man, this might be a TRX, inside a Ram truck. This might be a really good buy now. I didn't know it had those decals inside of the hood like that. Oh, man. Yo, who you think is like the the best rapper for hustlers? Like people who, uh, he's gonna call me old when I say this. Okay, I was gonna say Ross. Like Rick Ross. Go say, go say, go say. Rick Ross is the that's, best that's one. A, that's a valid. That's a valid uh, answer. This portion of the podcast is brought to you by public.com. Now, I see the comments out there. Also on Patreon, we had a couple of conversations. I see y'all in Twitter space as well, always talking about how to get in investments, how to get into cryptocurrency. And the biggest part about doing things like that is making sure that you are knowledgeable before you actually spend your money or put your money in certain avenues to try to hopefully get a return. And public.com makes that process simpler, mainly because they have a community out there that is very knowledgeable and they spread the information. Personally speaking, I've been on the platform several different times and I enjoy how easily consumable the knowledge is. You can go on there. There's like a timeline. They have a bunch of people in the community. Not only that, when they talk about a cryptocurrency or any type of investment or stock, you can click easily just click on it. It takes you immediately to the portfolio. It shows you all the trends that's been going on. And on top of that, you have other people who are knowledgeable about that specific stock or that specific cryptocurrency who have some history dealing with it, who also are willing to to pass along that information. So when you get into investments, when you get into cryptocurrency, you're not going in blind. So if you wanna make sure when you invest, you're not alone and you wanna do it confidently, go on public.com. And for all the new users, if you wanna start investing with as little as $1, you can get a free slice of stock up to $50 when you join public.com today. Visit public.com slash peer to peer to download the app and sign up using code Peer to peer. Again, that's peer to peer. P E E R T O P E E R. That's public.com slash peer to peer and use code peer to peer. Valid for U.S. residents 18 years or older, subject to account approval. See public.com slash disclosure, not investment advice. And thank you again for public.com for sponsoring this podcast. For my age group, <laughs> don't try to bait me. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Who you what think? About, yeah. Who you, John? Um. Jay Z. Yeah. I feel like Jay Z is more like about everything. Yeah, I wouldn't say like specifically. Like I see what you're saying, but like specifically hustling when you like you really like in that mode of like grinding. Uh oh. Um. Because technically speaking, Drake could be that as well, but it's only select Drake songs. I'm talking about like mm. when I hear Ross, especially like the way he just says things. I'm oh, like, yeah. Oof. Yeah. He's, Ross <laughs> told me to buy land. <laughs> yeah, like I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, like, money like, trench. I'll be like, damn, <laughs> nigga, really, nigga really did take me there when he said that shit. Yeah. Uh, but I'm realizing it's Lil Baby. That's why I'm saying that. Baby could be up there too for me. Yeah. Baby, baby could be up there for me as well. Yeah, because like Drake and Wayne, like they're too versatile. Like, but Wayne definitely doesn't strike me as that. What? I don't know why, but Wayne does not, you know, strike like not even in the slightest. What? Yeah, not even like, bro. You know. you be, I just, I'll be in the, I'll be in my car, like, 
the sky is the limit. <laughs> I'm like, fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> it's a I bunch of niggas who was um, rapping about Cullinans recently. And I was like, man. There's always like a new car much, trend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, how much is a Cullinan though? Polo and I, G. That's a good one, bro. Polo G. Polo G makes I'm not a Polo them. G fan. Not to say he's trash. You I'm can't just not say that this week. I can't? Because he just dropped the project, so you're not allowed to. Oh, bro, damn, yeah, that's tough. You had to keep that to yourself till next week. That's tough, that's tough, that's tough. It's a good project, too. Um, what would I say? Quavo is another one, too. Quavo and um, Offset. But not Takeoff? No. <laughs> why, you, why you eliminate him? Not that. You shit on him like that. Yeah, I know he don't speak a lot, but he there. No, 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 no. <laughs> nah. what, do you, what do you consider money bag, yo? What is that? What is that to he you? What type? He's like, I know he hard, but what type of he rap like is that? Toxic rap. Yep, he do. He did with him and him and Dolph are like to me like the way they rap is just hilarious to me. Him, yeah. Dolph, and Two Chainz, and Money Man. But yeah, the shit they say though is like it's the shit they say is like very obvious shit. But the way they say it is like damn, I love it. Hit hard. Yeah, like you right. The way you said that, you you right. Money he be bag bars that make you be like. It rhymes, and I know what he's talking about. <laughs> but how'd you make it sound? Good? Yeah, 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 he got dead as like no shit bars. But you like, but that shit sound hard though. The way you said that, mm. the way you said that shit, like Dolph said one time, he's like, I hopped on the plane to either go get some money or to go spend some go money. Spend some money. I was like, nigga, you're right. You did get on the plane to do that, though. <laughs> Your money back yo said, watch out before I fly out your bitch to a place that she didn't know exist. She didn't know Which exist. is crazy. Mediterranean water my, my wrist. <laughs> what is the how blue is Mediterranean water? It gotta be crystal clear or really blue. Yeah. One to two. Bro, I just watched a $144 million house tour in my room of uh, this house in France. I could get, I could verify the Mediterranean Sea is blue as fuck. Mm. It's blue and clear as fuck. Bro. Yeah. Mediterranean water my wrist. Crazy. Yeah, no cap. And I'll be like, damn. She probably didn't know that place existed. Yeah, bro. Before you Money back yo said. Money back <laughs> yo said. said something about white, white leather seats. She can't sit in the car on her time of the month. Something like that. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, was gonna, I was gonna keep it reflecting. <laughs> that was, That's nuts. Uh, he said, he said, uh, a rock fell out of my watch. I ain't getting mad. I just switched out clocks. I was like, what? He did just go on another watch. <laughs> He didn't even sweat it. We ain't crying over little diamonds. <laughs> I'm like, man. Where my cardio what? at? <laughs> that shit right there. Crazy, dog. Like, man, Mr. Bag. <laughs> Mr. B- Mr. Bag, your food is ready. Uh, now, nah, the reason I say baby, though, is because he just says shit that, like, if you oh, grind, a hustler. it makes you want to, like, grind. He says, when he said, um, I ain't got time to chill yet. I ain't make a hundred mil yet. I was like, What? What you on get that mil, bitch what? I just I get real checks. I get real checks. Shawty yeah. fucking like a porn star. We have real, real sex. sex. <laughs> he paid for that. But huh? he hustling so much, it's like a write off. <laughs> okay, all right. Like, he can't he, he gotta spend his money. He's gonna take it regardless. <laughs> So he might well trick it off. Uh, oh, shit. all those niggas are crazy as logic here, for tricking here, in my here, life. Here, this is a business. I'll, I'll say this about baby, baby. I'll put for a tax write off. Baby, <laughs> okay, all right. baby, Drake, Ross, sometimes Quavo. They rap, they rap and say things where I'm like. The only way you would ever even come close to saying some shit like that is if you dead ass did that shit. Yo, because when Drake <laughs> said, might move my annual shit to the dome, I need 40,000 people to see what I'm on. He was talking about OVO Fest. And that's only from a nigga like... Like 20,000 20, wasn't enough. Yeah, like who had those legit yeah. conversations like, man, we can't do keep doing this 20, this 20, this 20,000 uh, <laughs> arena, dog. Damn, dog, what we going to do? They might have to move it to the dome. <laughs> Fuck, man. That's how uh, we gonna have the utmost security and shit like that, dog. Like we gotta really talk about the logistics. We ain't got no other choice, though, Drake. Drake, fuck, man. Well, we keep maxing out capacity in under thirty minutes, Drake. We, we gotta to go to the dome. Bro. He's like, we gotta run out Idaho. <laughs> fuck it, bro. All right, where you need me to sign? Sign right here, Aubrey. Yeah. Uh, fuck, man. Damn. Forty thousand. We just on another level now. And then they get got in the booth and rapped Damn. about that shit. That's when they rap about that. I'm like, that nigga dead ass did that shit. He dead ass. You said Nebraska about it. only a hundred mil. 
Zellum. Zellum is great. <laughs> Yo, you can sell for Drake. Yo, get a personal sell for Drake is fucking nuts, nigga. Zellum, man. Uh, Nebraska only 100,000, 100 million. But that shit is so motivating, though, bro. When Polo G pulled out with all them fucking BMWs in, uh, damn, I'm blanking on the name, but he went, uh, I just copped a BMW, new deposit. I put up another bag. Yeah, fuck it, I'm a count while I'm in it. I hear chains. I hear crowds screaming, money counting, chains clanging shit. Uh, anyway, he said, I make a 2000 a minute. And I thought, like, minute. he probably did make 2000 a minute at some point in his life. Like, there's probably a day in his life, a show he went to, where he was just making 2000 a minute when you count up the minutes he was in. That's crazy. 2000 a minute is a lot. Who who who? Uh, I think it was Lil Baby said something about doing one hundred twenty thousand a show or something like that in one of his recent songs. I was that's like, crazy. what the fuck? That's that's major. It's like yeah, they they be saying shit. Where I be like, the only way you came up with that bar is that you you had to live that life. Cause there's no way a nigga just who doesn't live. Cause a nigga who doesn't live that that life wouldn't even have like thoughts and conversations to that degree. There's just no way. Like to to like to me, an arena is an arena. Like it, yeah. didn't even, it didn't even strike me as like ten thousand yeah. capacity versus would, forty thousand. I would never think to myself like I gotta move up, like I gotta get to another bigger <laughs> arena. Like you'd be like, I'm already in the arena. What's the difference? Yeah. It's the capacity, nigga. Talk about the capacity. Like <laughs> that nigga dead ass had a conversation with niggas like we gotta get to a bigger capacity. Like it's just too much going just, on in the twenty thousand, dog. He's like, damn, we already went out of space again. Fuck, man. Yeah, what am I gonna do? We sold out again. Fuck, man. That's fuck. I guess we gotta do another show. I guess we're gonna do another show this weekend. Like that's that that's what that nigga Drake conversations be like. You <laughs> that's that nigga. Say, we wanna we wanna book you for three hundred thousand? No. <laughs> like niggas will say no to that. <laughs> Saying yeah, saying no to three hundred K. Three hundred K. Drake, all you have to do is perform uh, for forty five minutes. Mm mm. No, I'm good. I actually, I actually I, I got, got a date at the Dodger day. Stadium. You're in the city, Drake. You can just drive. It's like five minutes from your nah, condo. I have a date at the Dodger Stadium tonight. <laughs> got to catch a flight. Maybe next year. I, I actually, I'm about to end my beef with Kanye, so I'm going to need a million to show. A certain, I can't believe niggas can't fall for that shit. Jesus Christ. At a certain point, bro, when is like, at what point is like, we could stop working that hard? Because it's like, you're not going to take it. How much money do you have to have before you go like three hundred thousand for another show? I'm good. I'm gonna just chill tonight. Mm. Drake, yeah. we need you for a pop up. One hundred seventy five. We need you to do three shows. Nah, I got a hoop with YK. He owed me six bands. <laughs> Yo, you saw that shit? Uh, we have to react YK. to that. Oh, YK. nigga, come we on, that YK. shit. We have yeah, to react nigga. to that. We have to react. Yo, to that. why is this nigga owing so many people? Money, no, this is nigga not. is a yo, terrible. baby. Yo, little baby opened up a fucking Pandora box, and now every rapper's like, Yeah, he do owe me money too. That's crazy, which, which really means that rappers just all willy nilly hand out money to people as loans. Yeah, that's crazy. And why does YK Osiris pull up to their crib knowing he's in debt to them because he don't think nobody's gonna say nothing. <laughs> Cause not even to the house. This nigga recreationally just went to Icebox with Baby. He didn't have to go there. No, I think he just went and Baby caught him there. Oh, that's tough. That's even worse. <laughs> you imagine ducking Baby and you're like, you can't. Cause why would you go to Icebox? Why you don't need to be in Icebox when you're in debt? Six. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying. So why are you in Icebox? You're in Icebox to go spend money. Yeah. So you can't act like you ain't got the fucking five k from this nigga. That's the strip club with Polo too. So you can't. What? For real? Polo. Did, did, did he owe Polo money? Uh, I wait, which polo are you talking about? G. No, 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 Polo Don. He's a producer. I mean, just never say polo and assume that I'm not. But why? About but, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But why? Why? Wait, why I know you talking about? Because hmm? I'm old. No, you're from Atlanta. Oh, okay. Oh, he's from Atlanta. I believe so. Yeah, I believe so. All right, well, I just let's yeah, say yeah, polo, this. polo. Uh, yeah, you can't you can't go to Icebox and act like you not you wasn't just about to go spend some money. Oh, and then you bump into baby like, man, I ain't really got that shit. Like, you can't do that. You like, can't get some shit clean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like, what did you come in for? Can't get some shit clean. Looking for a sale. And then, <laughs> and then, and then, and then the, the fucking cashier's like, oh, uh, why can't you? We got your chain right here. We got it all diamond out oh, studded. Nah. Your $13,000 chain right here. Like, you can't. Nah, like, that's not me. That's yeah. not me. Yeah. I'm just getting these appraised from my sister. <laughs> she said she wanted some diamonds, but, you know. <laughs> For her birthday next year, after yeah, I pay you back, baby. Go to Icebox and get a praise. It's crazy. 
<laughs> Yo, going to yeah. Icebox to get something appraised is nuts. Yeah, that is wild. Yeah. I came back to pick some money up. I left. Crazy, I ran into you here. How you doing? <laughs> Cause that's like going to the casino. You bump into a nigga, you owe money. Like, and you dead ass about to just throw money away right now. What are you talking about, nigga? At a fucking casino, man. Or going to a strip club, you owe nigga money. Like, you're literally about to go throw money in the air right now. There was a guy. There was a guy uh, in the two K community that was doing that. Some people was reporting on it, where he just owed a whole bunch of people money, and he would take their money and then wager it and lose. <laughs> Who is this? I forgot his name, but it was a story about it like two weeks ago. Why was the two K community trending today? Um, it's only trending to us because we're like in the bubble. Oh, okay. Well, why was it though? Uh, people is tight right now. Um, I, I, I was gonna make a video about it, but just some people are saying 2K blacklisted them. Uh, and then on top of that, season three, the reward for season three was just a skin, and people was upset that they they're upset about gameplay changes. The fact that season three is uh, has, in their opinion, bad content, and there's 2K blacklisting conversations. Mm. So it was like a combination of all three of those things. And a lot of people, there's people that just straight up went from like 2K news to like Fortnite news. They just left. They said, fuck it. Yeah. Like big content creators. So that's probably why. It's a combination of all of those things. Yeah. So it means it. Because I, I started, um, I think, I think I just thought niggas was talking on that too, in that space like a few um, weeks ago. Is it like, Legitimately, like the down spiral of the two K community. This is the lowest the two K has been. It's lower right now than it was in eighteen for Park. I can't speak for the other modes because mm-hmm. I'm, not, I'm not. I don't know where their numbers was at before and how it's comparing now. Uh, Park was hit the hardest, and people just aren't happy with the changes. It's just two K just had hasn't done nothing really transformative in a while. So uh, you know, it's like every once in a while you got to do something that gives people a new experience, not just a new mode. Just a new way to play. Like I argued, M- NBA Live 05's dunk contest was that. It was just a f- it's basketball. You're still doing basketball, but also weekend was so fun. It was such a fucking unique experience that it transformed the way that that was played. And then soon after, like 2K came out with my career, that transformed it. The crew that transformed. It. So it's like there's ways to keep it new. GTA is the best example. Got a giant mouth. Um, but yeah. Yeah, you missed a yawn. He he went crazy this time. I ain't missed. I felt it. My nose. Almost yeah. Hit the, the, LCD the gust part. of wind <laughs> probably just went straight to you. Okay, guys. <laughs> all right, guys. All right, guys. All right, all right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that's that's the gist of the frustrations, as far as I understand. I'm just gathering tweets. A lot of people are deleting tweets, dog. I'm having a screenshot, people now. For real? Yeah. I hate when y'all niggas do that. Yeah, bro. It's like just keep it consistent, bro. Don't delete your tweet. People was excited about season three on day one. I, I DM myself the tweet so I can refer to it when I'm recording my video. It's deleted. I'm like, fuck it. I'm going to have to start screenshotting people. Why do y'all niggas do that? Especially why do regular people do that? Like, y'all are not really nobody that anybody holds but it's, a standard it's the to. idea that you're excited at one moment and then you're pissed about it the next moment, but you can't have people know that. So you're deleting previous shit. But it's what... When you're a regular person, not... People don't care enough. Yeah, I agree. That's what I'm saying. Like, so why? Like, what's the point? Like, I I can somewhat understand that. Like, for example, Skip Bayless does that because he has to uphold this co- this idea that he knows basketball. But like, nigga, you're a fan, so you being right or wrong doesn't matter. Matter of fact, it makes more sense if you're wrong. If you're if you have heavy bias to your favorite team, so why does it care? But some of y'all niggas dead ass will have a take about a team and then delete the the tweet, and it's like. What the fuck is going on? True. It was L people. Y'all just, I don't know. It's just crazy. But hey, man, on that note, anything else? I'm trying to find some Drake lyrics where it's just like. There's a lot, bro. Yeah, There's like so where like, like this is. All like, those like 8 a.m. and p.m. videos is straight, straight bars. But just, but just bars were like, you, 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 only a nigga who went through this would, have, would say some shit like bro, this. Um, 5 a.m. in Toronto is the best Drake song of all time. Not just because he's in Toronto in the song, but because... Where do you rank Calabasas? Top 15. I look... Your Calabasas is amazing. Yeah, it was a good song. Calabasas is amazing. But the Toronto one was just like... It was just so true. If you go through the lyrics, he was talking about how um, uh, it sounds like Drake featuring Drake. Hey, why me? Why is it always free? Like He was talking yeah. about like how he was running the industry and people were just stealing his his whole flow, which is funny because then he started like picking off other people's flows later in his career. But, but that, but that's another where like somebody saying is Drake featuring Drake. Yeah, that's such a like. It's true. 
it's it's so true when it's like the way he praises it, like it's that's another one he said what he said it was obvious but the way he phrased it sounds crazy hmm. and like the only way you would phrase something like that is if like you was in the fucking studio at 40 and he was like man it's just like so they never get just the same out of like niggas. You, like, you know, That's just, why money can make change out of niggas for real. A couple nobody started killing themselves. And bro, he was going in that song. That's my favorite Drake song. I can listen to it all day. I never get sick of it. It's a it's a clean beat, um, clean music video. He didn't do nothing too crazy with it. It's just heavy replayability. But anyway, Drake's whole discography is lyrics that make you go fuck. He's just like yo, damn Drake, you really do that. Come on. I, 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 I wish that people would pu- push that Drake a little bit more often, though. Because I don't He did like, a lot of it in his recent album. But I'm telling you, more yeah, he, listen, did, he did, he did. The more I did. listen to it, the more I enjoy that most recent album. It went from, I originally called it a 7.5. It is an 8.5 to me now. What about Kanye's? I'm not, I'm going to be honest with you, I haven't re listened to the whole thing since it came out. Okay. I just can't re listen to that censored album. When he drops oh. the uncensored version eventually, I'll listen to it. Um, what was I about to say? I I no my stance on Drake on that last one is gonna it stays the same. It's still only a select amount of songs that I like about it. But so I, I you wish you gave it a seven and a half. You know what I'm saying? It stayed the same. And there's only a select amount of songs you liked. Yeah, that's that's, that's what a seven and a half is. A seven and a half is like better than three quarters of the albums released. It's in the top twenty five percent. I would argue that that's fine. And it's just some select songs you like. What is what is, when you say when you when I when you when you when I say select you mean like you think I want to talk about two or three? What does that mean, bro? No, I would say like more. I would more than half. I would be able to like listen to. Man, your standards is high, dog. That means the average album you just listen to a few songs. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Damn. You don't like much music. No, I like music. I just don't like people's projects. Oh, Roddy Rich is dropping soon. If he didn't drop already. <laughs> Yeah. That's gonna be fucking insane. I fuck with my nigga. What's I open that's good to eat right now? What time it's is not it? Trash. What time is it? Seven forty one. No, that's wrong. Ten forty one. I think that Greek place is still open. Waffle House. Oh, uh, Waffle House that's not, that's Cookout, good. Crystals, uh, Checkers. Is the China spot? The China. Oh, like I'm talking about the China. Healthy. The China House open. The China spot. It is. I'm asking. I don't. I don't think I don't the grocery think store is the most healthy option. So until midnight. Yeah, I'm he said yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't cook. That Greek spot. I'm gonna go to. This is a spot in the uh, in the uh, Marietta Square Food Market, or whatever it is. I heard about that. I was it's I always so wanted good. to go. Yeah. It's Wait, his, what? This is chicken over rice spot. Whoa, talk to me. What's it called? It's so good. What's it called? Don't know the name, but I just know how to get there. Fuck. And I had a creep. I had a creep. Yeah. What does it mean? No, it's, it's like a pastry. You put like strawberries oh, and honey. Oh, <laughs> oh. okay. All right. I love it. What do they call you? Said creeps. Yeah, creep. uh, They're not called creeps. Uh, and don't say that to a woman. I did thought you meant there's a creep there. Yeah, that's what I mean too. Like there's like somebody creeping around, like stalking women there. Like he's a creep. Oh no, no, it's a dessert. No, a creep is not a dessert. No. <laughs> I eat creeps for breakfast. <laughs> the sad part about you actually don't know how to pronounce that word. A creep. It's not a creep. That's good enough, John. It's a, cre- it's a creep to us. It's a crep. 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 Up. What's it called? Crep. <laughs> yeah, you did great. Yep. Crep. Hey, man, all audio <laughs> listeners, we love y'all, man. If you're on Apple Podcasts, make sure to drop this a five-star. If you're on YouTube, the video is available at Peer to Peer on YouTube, man. Turn on notifications, subscribe to the channel, make sure to go. Noti gang, 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 gang. Again, I'll leave that clip channel link in the description. Please click it. Uh, we got plenty of stories and things of that nature on that channel. Uh, hopefully, we can start gaining some momentum over there. We've been uploading there consistently for a few months now, so there's a plenty of backlog of footage for y'all to check into. Uh, aside from that, we have our Patreon. You guys have been showing a lot of love too, man. Um, link is in the More description. More content going to be well. on there too, no cap. Yeah, we, we're going daily in December on there. What? That's what oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. so uncut versions of videos that we've posted on both playback and extra content on these peer-to-peer podcasts. We have game nights and Zoom calls and we have Q&As and AMAs and all type of shit over there. So if y'all want to be involved in all the festivities, we do have the playback uncut. Uh, we'll leave the link for that in the description as well. Aside from that, we'll catch you guys Oh, final words, Lo. 
Uh, thank y'all. Your Patreon is be popping, so I thank y'all for all the people who support us on Patreon. For, no cap, for real, for real. John. All right. All right. right. And on that note, we'll catch you guys on the next podcast. Peace.